we're going. So don't clam up, Pinder. I know you get nervous. I would never be nervous. <laughs> I, yeah. I make sure all pods, I'm <laughs> among my inferiors. <laughs> <laughs> McCann showed up pre-moistened. It's rainy. <laughs> Weird to yeah. be doing the podcast <laughs> with a microphone in a comedy club on the stage to nobody. Dude, this is... Uh, this is like a fringe shot. This, <laughs> this, this is our Kill Tony. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, you know, it's very Perth yeah. because it's big and expensive and empty. Yeah. Everywhere I go in Perth, there's nothing. Big. I took the train today. Yeah. Nothing. No one on the new special airport Dude, train. Dude, because everyone's rich. No one's taking public transport. Yes. Well, is there an airport train now? Exactly. Word doesn't even travel. Yeah, I have no idea about But it's that. so opulent and beautifully <laughs> yeah. constructed. Yeah. The mining companies feel like they have to do something oh God. to justify their existence. Very strange they have a ferry being up as here. well, don't they? And they're, they're, trying, they're trying to keep the ferry going. It's like a, yeah. you know, just a normal, it gets you from one side of the river yeah. to the other. And they're like, please use it. <laughs> it's nice. It's a boat. There's Why? Why would it? you ever have to go? You've got one dome be, on the north side. You've got a dome on the <laughs> south side. Yeah. Why would you ever want to travel? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> There's no ferries in Perth. That's made it's up. It's just a ferry. It's Yeah, there is. It's a thing. Really? Are you like saying a... ferries or fairies? Because yeah. I've seen a couple it's of a fairies walking oh. around the city today. A fairy. Yeah. Oh, it goes oh. from one side of the river to the other. <laughs> <laughs> Repeatedly. All yeah. day. Um, thank you so much for doing this. I don't know. This is it. This is the preamble. This is the hot section. Great. Where right, you can preamble. say whatever you want. James Donald Forbes McCann on tour now. <laughs> Catamaran plan. Well, you got to plug in early. Big podcast. Because you are doing a show. This will drop the week you're doing a show in Melbourne. Yes. You know, I'm going to do the project tonight. To are promote you? It. And they just, uh, they just corrected the time schedule from a live interview to a pre-record. Yeah. And I think Michael Hing might have had something to do with that. <laughs> he's hosting. I've known Hing for years. There's no way he's letting me go live. Well, you've said before you don't trust his kind, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. ABC presenters. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yes. <laughs> oh, intellectuals. Yeah. People with glasses. That's it. I'm a fan of the Khmer Rouge. Uh -huh. That's why I've taken my glasses off. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, seriously, folks. What's Khmer Rouge? Well, yeah. that was a very wise man who led Cambodia, uh -huh. who oh, right. trying to improve the stock of oh, the Cambodian people. Yes. Just massacred the uh, the glasses wearers. Yeah. So what, when's the project interview? Tomorrow. Uh, okay. Yeah. Right, so right, I'm right, flying right. out very early tomorrow morning. Yeah. And then I'm flying to a wedding. Okay. So you're not in the Melbourne studio. You're still linking in. No, I'm going to fly to Melbourne yeah. to do the project. Uh -huh. And I thought it would be funny to vape, but if they're doing a pre-record, yeah. like, I thought that would be the funniest thing to do in the project. <laughs> Everyone's like buttoned down, looking like they're on the Hunger Games Man, or something. Vape it up, dude. <laughs> if they pre-record, they're not going to let me vape. Yeah, vape, vape culture. You spit that out. The fur We're coat. starting again. A fur coat, <laughs> fur and, coat vape. and a vape. <laughs> yeah. Well, because I just did a promo spot on Channel 9. Nice. The, the 4 p.m. news. Ooh. And I wore a uh, little uh, ear patch on the right ear. Yes. And the I thought that was nice. The publicity lady lost her mind. Wait, she was angry about it? She did not like it at all. They demanded I remove it before, oh, the, uh, having it. before the interview started. In case you had a tenacious D situation <laughs> and Nick Kappa yes. had to come out and say, I, <laughs> I am abandon not represented you. by this man. <laughs> Public I barely know you. him. Yeah. Fuck, if Kappa is the Jack Black to my Kyle Gass, I really got to reevaluate <laughs> Uh, well, you're going. the you're the technical work, and he's the crowd pleaser. <laughs> Do you Is think he's right? throwing him under mm -hmm. the bus a little bit, old Jack Black? <laughs> yeah, of course. That's piss poor. He's got it? movies coming out, and then he's like, I don't want to be part of this, and you know, he's protecting his own. Yeah, but he's he's got foundations, Jack Black. He could surely do just about anything. Maybe there was some ill will beforehand, and he just seized upon this moment. Yeah, today. Man, yeah. that Maybe. is smart. You got it's like in Hamlet. Yeah. It's, uh, you must make war yes. upon a piece of straw. Yeah. <laughs> you, if you need to go into battle, you've yeah. got to find an excuse. Yeah. Can you say Hamlet in a theater? Hmm? Yes, you can. The one you can't say is, is much ado about nothing. <laughs> there <laughs> we go. <laughs> we got, there, there are fairies in Perth. <laughs> <laughs> I've canceled this man immediately. That's the sort of anti-gay talk that you can have in no, America, but no, not here. No, no, I'm big. Here I'm, we love our homosexuals. I'm a big PG that's pro-gay. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> PG Mike G, they call me. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't heard that? I had you down as a poo gay but <laughs> no, but seriously. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Pinder, man. I haven't seen you in a while. Like, thank you for doing the pod. It's been a while. Thanks for having us. And obviously, Capper's not here. But Pinder, have you raised enough money to reverse the vasectomy yet? I've re I've reversed it. Is that well happening? Is this yeah, I was going to message you. I'm um, proud of you. From hospital. Yes. And you were doing all these big stardom. I would have very. He's doing that's these more arenas with to, to hear that you've and been made like, whole again. I shouldn't, I shouldn't bother me. him with my testicle. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. But. 
So far, it's been on his mind. He's so far, it hasn't about worked. It. He kissed me on the forehead when I told him I was doing it. Really? Like, it was pope like. You're so, that invested in other I'm so disgusted men's by tubes. male genital yeah. mutilation. <laughs> well, I may have to. I may have to remutilate it. Yes, but that was a medical emergency. Ah, right, so right. I've gone. I've gone. I went to a gynecologist to do it. I didn't realize I should have gone oh. to a urologist. Yeah. And so far, the first <laughs> test has yielded me not a single swimmer. <laughs> This is true. You went to a gynecologist. Yeah, <laughs> bullshit. It's, he, it's a service he offers. Vasectomy <laughs> reversal. Now they're checking the semen to see if the he's a jack of all junk. Boys have jack of all junk. Yeah, I mean. he'll just go for. <laughs> is a, that on his business card? I didn't card? realize. Well, what happened, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What happened is he. I trusted his face. Yeah. He seemed very professional, and I'm sure that he is. Mm-hmm. Um, but I did the thing, and then there was not a, a terrible amount of follow through. Like, oh, if this doesn't work, then they do this, and you know, anything like that. He sort of did it, took my money, and was like, "Say you later." Yeah. And then, since doing the first test where I got no sperms through, we went, "Oh shit! If I have to have another Who's operation." Who's running that test? Is that a solo mission, or <laughs> is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to make love to the doctor, okay. and if he doesn't get pregnant, the jack of all junk. It's not worth yeah. it. Yeah. So I went. I went to the clinic, got the test, and it came came through with nothing. But they they didn't go. Yeah. Um, right. Well, there's nothing so far. So we test again. Well, you know, this didn't many give times. Give you any feedback? Apparently, you've got it. No, they just went. Unfortunately, there was nothing in there, and it's, you know, that's well, disappointing. Yeah. That's you either give fortune. them an empty that cup. That was three months in. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, they were. So you come Sir, you have done nothing with this. <laughs> There's dust in here. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, it's not. Can it's, is you a stamp? extract what is the a sperm from the testicle and inject it into the prostate? You can. I, w- <laughs> I would rather not, though. I think yeah. get the plumbing fixed, and yeah. then, as you would be pleased to hear, you can Just go naturally. Get, you can get the um, the factory back in operation and procreate. So a you're lot. Up, you're up and running. Well, I'm hoping to be, yeah. but you've, I've still I got to test over the next testicle. over the next year. I've got to yeah. keep testing to see if anything comes through. If not, yeah. I got to find. But this is what I'm saying. So I went on all these different websites yeah. looking at because I was like, okay, who's the best guy in Australia for vasectomy reversal? And I was on one of these websites, and it said in capitals, Doctor Such and Such is a urologist, not a gynecologist. Oh, and I felt a sense of like. You know when you speak to a comedian Gender about a like spectrum? an open mic guy? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he's like, he's not a comedian. He's a, you know what I mean? It, yeah. it had that uh, energy to it. So I'm searching for Australia's best urologist now. If any of them are yeah. listening. Slash gynecologist. Sling me. No more gynecologist. No more gynecologist. I want only a man junk guy. Uh, I think that's fair. Yeah. I, think that's, I didn't realize I should have done that before. Some of the urologists do work on women. Yeah. Do they? I, I don't know why. I want I know one that, that doesn't. <laughs> How do you know? That? I think I watch a tele. No, I was watching Jeopardy, and there was a woman <laughs> urologist. I remember now. And Alex Trebek, uh-huh. I think he was still alive at the time and still presenting. He goes, "A woman urologist can't be many of those." <laughs> and she went, "No, there's, there's not." But I mostly work on women because yeah, they right. have urethras too. I'm told. Yes. All oh, right, yeah. women, women be chopping dicks. Yeah. So women be pissing. <laughs> women be chopping was excellent. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I that yeah, yeah. would be how that scene would go today. <laughs> um, yeah, Capper's not here, but feel free to do your best Capper impression, either of you, if you have one mm. in the bank at all. Perth, you've done it again. Is that Capper? I don't know. He does that on his little videos, doesn't he? Does he? Yeah, oh, when he's, he does a, he does yeah, a tour yeah, yeah. video thing. Of course. Nah, but... Uh, Oh, that's my. Uh, it's a post joke. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, oh man. Uh, yeah, there you man. Go. <laughs> I was looking back through his uh, Instagram feed. Yeah. I don't remember why, but I did a di- ah. It was a dark night of the soul. I was for looking you. for the <laughs> poster where he did the Grace Jones photo. Right. So I had to go back through about ten thousand Kappa posts. Boy, he does a lot of them. He posts a lot. It's he like a Japanese schoolgirl. Well, he was as beautiful as a Japanese schoolgirl early in his career. I'd forgotten when I first met him that yeah. he was uh, ravishingly handsome. Still a good-looking older man uh-huh. now, but he had a real boyish... Boyish? Uh, yeah, it's almost like a you know, Blake Freeman now. It was re- I Go back and look at it. Uh-huh. Oh, I've never Very seen that. Very handsome. I thought it was like, man, yeah, I'll give you like a rugged farm man. But no, there it's was It's probably been said before. Quality. He's always reminded me of the kid off Mad Magazine. Oh, Alfred E. Newman. He said he got that in high school. Yeah, yeah. That was his nickname in high school. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I thought it. I thought which does not gel with your 
boyish. I'm telling you, there's something to it. Young DiCaprio I, that you're framing him as. <laughs> he was hot. He That's was, what I'm saying. He was a hot kid. He got me going. <laughs> okay. And then what was the point of that? You were just I just wanted to say what a handsome man he is. He's handsome. We miss him. And he's I, actually very um, handsome. I'd love to see him. What is it? Meat he's, tube. He's passed away. That's why he's not here. Oh, well, there we go. Sorry. He was a looker, though. Yeah, yeah. Meat Oblong, actually. Meat Oblong, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Is that his new oblong. show, Meat Oblong? It's his, the show that just finished. Okay. Yeah. And I said that sounds, it does sound vaguely sexual, a little butt plug-ish. Yeah. And he <laughs> didn't see that at all. <laughs> you don't see it? <laughs> what a Meat I don't see Oblong it. could possibly... I have never come up with a good name for a show. You did it. You had that nice one where you were uh -huh. the wedding singer, man. Uh huh. That was this and, year. Uh, Forty-five minutes to an hour of comedy, depending how it's going. Depending how it's Great going. Great meta yeah. title. Yeah. What's your you. most recent show called? Uh, live and flustered. It was a cop out title. I know. Mm. I've you know gone. When you don't. You know when you haven't written a show, so you yes. go. Yes. This way, I can squeeze in stuff oh. I've done before. Of course. I got in trouble for that. I did a show called Aussie and Proud that wasn't about Australia at all because I got very <laughs> interested in uh, modern architecture. And so I thought, well, we'll just fix that show up yeah. and, and I'll call it Aesthetic and I'll do that next year. But then my friend yeah. died. And so that show was oh, all about a dead yes. friend. Yeah. So now I just give up. Do you? Australia tour. But when you register a show, you got, it's so far in advance. You got to yes. have something. I'm thinking next year, the diarrhea of Anne Frank. Do you like <laughs> fans? Well, you can say that because you're a Nazi. Yeah, of course. So it's fine. <laughs> I think it'll go off, man. I, I don't know. <laughs> see? It's hard getting a lot of <laughs> I don't Did know. Did you ever see that film, The Fault in Our Stars? No. no. It's a film about two children with cancer. Well, that's fun. And uh, Yes, but they are in love. Yeah. And they drag their cancerous bodies up to Anne Frank's attic. And they share a kiss. Right? That's like a romantic, like staring into the void of horror. I know, man. And then everyone there, when they kiss, these strangers all like break into a round of applause. It's yeah. a very strange teen movie. It's maybe the most <laughs> insane scene. And then I believe Boom <laughs> Clap by Charlie XEX plays. What? Which is the song that came out with that movie. Didn't Justin Bieber get in trouble at the Anne Frank house for taking a selfie? He or said she would have been a believer. She would have been a believer. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. She would have been. I mean, come she on. She probably would. Yeah. <laughs> she probably would. That's why she deserved watched, to die. Um, no, did, you watch the, did you watch the show about, uh, is it Meep Geese? Meep Geese. Yeah. The, the is people that were helping hide the Franks. Oh, right. It was a great series on Disney, I Meep think. Meep Geese sounds like a rapper. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, he said the same thing. Yeah. banned from he the He was state like, of she would have been a geezer. <laughs> Has to all his gigs on the other side of the border. <laughs> <laughs> Have you not? Yeah, did you hear the new Meep Geese track? The Fucking new Meep <laughs> Pumps. <laughs> well, you're, you're into rap. What would Meep Geese hmm? sound like? I think he'd be one of those Philadelphia trank rappers. Yeah, trank. Out there stabbing people. <laughs> well, it was, a, it was a bird that was helping Ida and stuff like that. And the, the Anne Frank that was portrayed in the show... <laughs> Yeah, a lady, So I didn't know if she had a sort of Cinderella type situation. <laughs> I think it was because of the geese. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> that made me think bird. <laughs> but I've for all intents and purposes, Anne Frank seemed to yeah. be, she would have been a believer. She was very teeny bopperish. Yeah. Yeah. She was a teenager. Yeah. <laughs> but she wasn't, you know, you think of somebody's journals being published as a piece of history. Yeah. And you think, she doesn't sound fun. I know. And most diaries are so boring. But I think she put, uh, have you ever read, uh, yeah. I read... Michael Palin's one. Somebody bought it me as a present. Nice. Yeah. Deeply, deeply dry. <laughs> for a, yeah. for a python. So yeah. I thought this will be a right giggle. <laughs> for the <Fucking> hell. <laughs> We went out walking on Hampstead Heath. Oh my Do you god! Know it's conversely dull. has fascinating autobiographies and diaries. Yeah. Is Australian politicians? There are some really? crackers. I think it's the Cameron Diaries. He was like a treasurer of the Labor Party for a long time. But the number one is the Latham Diaries. Right. Which Mark Latham, immediately after he left politics, released his diary from the last three years. Yeah, it's right. absurdly candid. He just goes really? through everyone he's been working with for the last four years. Shits on him. He goes, she's a fucking idiot. Oh. He's a dickhead. <laughs> he goes to Bob Hawke's house. It must house. build up. It must build up while you're in politics. You must be like, one of these days, you fucks. Oh, oh man. They're all snakes. To do it that quickly is yeah. very unusual. Yeah. <laughs> so it builds up to Bob Hawke? Bob, no, Bob Hawke's near the start. When People he goes love to Bob, Bob Hawke. Hawk. Yeah, he, yeah, he was angry about Bob Hawke. He goes to Bob Hawke's house, which is on uh, Circular K. Yeah. 
and he catches he has to catch a water taxi to get there and at the end of their meeting it's a ferry uh, it is if it's a thank you uh, they get it he and his um, new wife get massages yeah and Mark Latham is furious he's like we're meant to be the party of the fucking working classes and we're living in harborside mansions getting yeah, yeah. massages yeah. this fucking limp soft cock no good <laughs> <laughs> which is hard for the man who'd mentored you through yeah. politics right I I've no idea who Mark Latham is I've lived in this country oh, for a he's while but fascinating. still deep would you know who he nah, is? no I'm not very good with politicians nah. unless they get shot or they do you know yeah. unless they become like big news right I don't he, know went, he was a left winger uh-huh. Labour Party guy he went hard right he's one nation now uh huh mm. And uh, well, he broke a taxi driver's arm before he took power. Holy so shit! People would always talk Why about would that. I he not? Lost have? to John Howard, my favourite Mark Latham story, and I have to confirm if this is true. He, it was logging happening in Tasmania, mm-hmm. and the Labor Party is torn between its uh, unionist base of people who cut down trees and environmentalist base of people who wish that wouldn't happen so much. Yeah. And uh, so Mark Latham really is meant to go after the unionist vote. John Howard is never going to get the environmentalist vote. But the leader of the Greens takes Mark Latham up in a helicopter uh-huh. and shows him the forest, and he has a religious experience and changes his policy and loses the election. Uh-huh. And then he brutally shakes John Howard's hand one morning. How do you brutally shake a hand? It's an aggressive really handshake. Jerk the, tr- the Trump like pull, you know that move? It's a the bad boy up and down. Oh, no, yeah, bad boy up and down. Oh, he's, he's just whips it. Yeah, yes. yeah. And then yeah, he yeah. said, "Well, John <laughs> Howard hurt crack. my wife's hand last night." Jeez. <laughs> Mark Latham is a real character. They should make a movie about Mark Latham, but yeah, yeah, he's alienated a lot of people. All I right, love it. that's strange that I don't know anything about him. No, one nation I know is the Pauline Hanson one. Yes, again, the one you subscribe it's the one to. The one smart people vote for. Yeah. <laughs> they do have the best kind of ideology, right? Well, I, as <laughs> opposed to all these two nation parties, <laughs> you think we should let WA go off on its own? That would be absurd. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, well, because you're living in Austin now. Mm. So, yeah. Living there now. I'm living in Magic. Austin. Well, Perth has been called the uh, Texas of uh, Australia. So, do you feel do you feel at home or fewer Hispanics here in, in Perth? I would say, yeah. Um, although the Chinese are sort of the Mexicans of Asia. That's I've heard that. Mm. Yeah, let's not dig too deeply into that. <laughs> but uh, it's good. They lots of homeless. Uh huh. I mean, you would know this being a American Sixth person. Street. Sixth Street's great. Yeah. It's just the freedom. There's a man who stands outside the comedy club on Sixth Street with a big python. Uh-huh. And you can pay $15 to have the python on you. <laughs> you know, and now you're plugging your Next show. to that, people are. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of ass clapping <laughs> happening in America. You like know, twerking? Yeah. Yes. I always pictured Booty that popping. being a, an LA thing. Is that not right? I it's pictured Texas everywhere. being a bit more like. Yeah. Uh, Everywhere that there are big asses, mm. there's right. the clapping of the big ass. And well, that's, that's what fake? you've been running from for so long. Well, I come back here and it's very refreshing to walk around all these shallow yeah. Australian asses. Because uh-huh. yeah. I don't find that as difficult to not stare at yeah. a woman's ass. Flat Would you take a blank. round of applause from a, a big ass? A round of applause. <laughs> you know, I do love Waka Flocka. <laughs> Is that one of his lyrics? Round of applause. Baby, make that ass clap. Oh, shit. <laughs> Round of applause. Fuck. I thought that was a Meep G's lyric, <laughs> but sure. Was it Meep G's? Meep G's. <laughs> G's. Oh, yeah. oh, no, I know all the Waka Flocka details. <laughs> I love the rap music. Um, uh, well, I know Pinder's a big P. Diddy supporter. That's right. Wonderful. He's done pedophilic things, hasn't he? P. Diddy. That's what it stood for. That's true. Pedophile. P. P. Diddy. P. Diddler. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's in jail now, eh? He's, or is that R. Kelly? I think he's absconded to an island that he's hiding out. I think out. he's, he's dashed off. Mm. Uh, but R. Kelly's still in jail. Is he? I think what so. What did he do wrong? A lot of I'm pissing. sure I saw oh. a. Oh, it was him. Yeah, it was R. Kelly. I saw on Instagram the other day, and yeah. somebody had taken. A video of him singing in prison while he was doing his oh, work. Dude, Actually, th- that image of R. Kelly singing "I Believe I Can Fly" behind yeah. bars. Oh, yeah. I've never seen that. Brutal. That would be so oh, nice. I just, well, would I be just, so. I know what you mean. Now <laughs> I spoke to him. Uh, he's like not be, in, like you'd want to be next making to, uh, fishnets and you'd shit. You'd want to be next to him because he was a, a heterosexual <laughs> pedophile, I believe. So you'd be very safe <laughs> from R. Kelly. R. Kelly yeah. peeing on teenagers was his thing. Teenage girls. Yeah. 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 R&B so you'd be singer. Safe I would never roommate. be intimidated by an R&B singer anyway. No? No, I don't think so. It's too romantic. Uh, yeah, I think if you can be that romantic, you ain't got that dog in you. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you know so I mean? Bell Biv only. DeVoe doesn't uh, have them. intimidate you Whoever. at all? <laughs> <laughs> anybody, anybody who's got that yeah. uh, vocal gymnastic. Boys you know to men. Thing. 
I'll flog them. They're boys to you. <laughs> These are boys men. to me. These are, <laughs> these are not men. <laughs> <laughs> Is that one big boys to men song? I can't think of a single boy. End of the know. road? No, I don't know. Um, yeah. I don't I'll know. Be... When harmonies get too clean, when it gets too perfect, yeah. it, it sounds like nothing to me. There is, well, because you said harmony. Bone Thugs and Harmony straddle the line between R&B and rap. Is that an Hip-hop. R&B group? You don't know them either? Nah. See, I'd say. No. Nah. There's a lot of these references we don't get. You don't get these? I didn't know about the stanky leg until very recently. Stanky leg? What's but the I'm stanky t- leg? Everybody it's at that these, walk. At these weddings, at these uh, <laughs> rich white weddings in the Midwest, they all like to get together and do the stanky leg. Is that a dance? But it's, it's lifted dance from step. black culture. Of course. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's the word the stanky is, black isn't culture it? Does. <laughs> stanky so. is a black word. <laughs> they give us yeah. dances that unify... Yeah. The races. I think yeah, Elvis. You know. They you don't know. give us. The d- <laughs> we it's take. A gift. We take them. No, the moonwalk <laughs> was given as a blessing. Yeah, fair play. The moonwalk. Let's all come together. Yeah. yeah. Over the legs. But the stanky leg was originated. <laughs> where? I don't know. I've heard of people in uh, rural Illinois doing uh-huh. the stanky leg. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> now it's at weddings. I heard Fuck. Amos went to a wedding and people were doing the stanky leg. I want to see the stanky leg. Does anybody know how to do I it? I think it's just like one wobbly. I've you stand up and no walk. Idea. and yes, right. you imitate shake. a disabled man <laughs> yeah. by the sounds okay. of it. It's like someone with cerebral palsy, like trying <laughs> to jog. But what? They don't have the nut bush. You don't have the nut bush. Dude must know the nut bush. Uh, the Tina Turner song. Yes, yeah. there's a special dance. It was You're only a single in this country, I yeah. think. And she'd never released a promotional video, but they cut up a bunch of different clips of her dancing. She never did the nutbush before this, and Australians love that video and learnt this dance. They teach mm. it in school. Yes. What the nutbush? What year? Well, how old were you when you learned the nutbush dance? They all know a synchronized set of taxes. It's like yeah. year three, year four. You start nutbushing yeah. hard, yeah, and I if you make it there, then the nutbush board gets you together, and you get forward for nationals. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have a Stand joke on about the state it. nutbush squad. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's insane. They all know this dance, a synchronized dance. It's wild. Is there a you know a, a UK dance? No, I don't think I don't think um, I don't think we had any shit like no. that. No, you in the old. I mean, you probably came up with the waltz, the fox trot. Yeah, it's that's right. We were all fox trotting when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> we would we would with slappers, flappers. We would fox yes. trot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Slappers was, is different. That was more our sort of bag. <laughs> slappers, yeah. Well, flappers were unduly promiscuous, I think. Lots so they were the... Yeah, that was the idea. Because it was, again, like you say, with the politicians, I think it was repressed. You're supposed to behave yourself publicly mm-hmm. in all these different ways. Yeah. And then it only takes either quitting politics or jazz yes. to come along. Yeah. And people are like, I'm feeling promiscuous. Well, your politicians, though, are particularly uh, sexually flappers. weird. Yeah. I think there was a man who uh, masturbated himself to death with to a... To death? He- with a, yes, he was doing the, the choke wank. But there was something ah, about they yes. found him with an orange peel somewhere that there shouldn't have been in an orange ass. peel. I think it, that was one of the last scandals that rocked John Major's government. Really? Right. I he love was the prime politicians. minister when I was a little one, John Major. <laughs> yes. Was he one? Was he a pervert? I think he he's not yet deemed a pervert. No. Yeah. His, his face was, uh, he had a, a, a face you could trust. I don't know what he was like as a man, but you know when you see a man you think, th- mind not you, like this is a mistake I made with the yeah. fucking gynecologist. <laughs> I was like, yeah. he looks like he'll, he won't hurt me too badly. <laughs> he looks like he's got good intent. Is this the guy that died strangle wanking? No, I don't know who that, that is. That was in his government. That right, was one of his right, right. trusted ministers. Right. What the hell? Yeah. I, try, I think I tried a gag saying women don't die strangle wanking. Right? Right. Because they're better at multitasking. Oh, that's, that's good. not bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it never really good. landed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. it didn't? Well, so, I mean, <laughs> women don't seem as desperate. They seem like they're having a better time when they do have the orgasms, mm. but they're certainly not as desperate to have them. There no. is no lesbian glory hole mm. where I've you no. wedge the fanny <laughs> up against a toilet <laughs> yeah. wall. Hard yeah, no. just geometrically to put a hole in a hole. Mm. I've that's never true. seen a glory <laughs> hole. A magician would have to. And I've never oh, done a strangle wank. Seen one? And I don't, I don't know if. There, there are too many notable people mm. that seem to die doing a strangle wank. That means, must be probability-wise, there. Yeah. there must be more of it going on than I'm privy to. Of course, yeah. Have you ever done a strangle wank? I haven't. I don't have the inclination. I, yeah. I, it, can't, I can't figure out, because they say it's something to do with the feeling of being nearly passed out. Mm. Yes. It, I think I it's the, it. the French call it le petit more. I think that's the orgasm in general. Is it? I do believe so, oh, yeah. but uh, <laughs> that's a little dead. I, I mean, imagine, was, imagine was, coming and yeah. going, Not can we enough. improve on that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, That's really yeah. not what I want. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand it, but I'm scared to 
investigate Try. it too much yeah. because that's for the best, I think. Well, if they die doing it, it's got to be. It's like heroin, you I know. It's the same fear. It's I the same like heroin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got to be good if you're going to risk yourself of like course. that. Of course, and to be found like that. Australians still in denial that Michael Hutchins was a strangle wank. Clear They're in denial about it. Yeah. Oh, I always no, thought they were kind of proud no, of it. Don't we? People are like upset if you bring it up at are they? a dinner party with like. Well, yeah. yeah. People adored him. <laughs> <laughs> it's because yeah. it's not a topic dinner of conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I think we all I think we all know that that was going. The odd one was that was Bill in Kill Bill. David name? Carradine. Yes. Yeah. And some people think he was in cahoots with the, the mafia, and they staged it. Oh. Of that nature, that he wouldn't do such a thing. They American. staged an embarrassing death like that just to really... That seems like a very Asian mafia thing mm. to do, isn't it? Not only do we kill you, we make it dishonorable. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We pull your pants down, and then we put your hand on your junk, and then we put a belt around. <laughs> it's too involved. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the mafia, the American mafia now? I uh, did a little bit of an explore of it recently because I've been... I read The Godfather. Uh huh. Great book. Wonderful book. Yeah. And then Which I a huge section of that book is cut out for the film. Yes. With the, the dildo the big, the big or the, vagina the big I was vagina. about to yeah, say yeah, yeah. the <laughs> woman with the big pussy. <laughs> they, they get straight onto that as well. It's a huge it's like part of the first book. four pages. And <laughs> Deirdre had a big up. ass pussy. <laughs> Just left it out. Real huge, man. Imagine how good The Godfather yeah. could have been with oh, the pussy scene. Yeah, the it giant was, uh, pussy <laughs> would have been yeah. amazing, dude. Yeah. Well, that set me back on a mafia thing i watched goodfellas yeah i watched the sopranos again and then i thought i remember there was a time when i was reading a lot of these biographies about old mobsters yeah anthony Gaspipe castle and all these guys and i thought is that still a thing now yeah and if you look at if you look up current mobsters even the ones that were knocking about with john Gotti and that back in the 80s and 90s and stuff when yeah. it was all being crushed by the police yeah these guys are still knocking about a lot of them are sort of were in witness protection and now that the mafia is less of a danger to them they've got YouTube channels yeah. merch yeah Influencers. Sammy Gravano is like a like he's got a, in, a big Instagram does he? A heaps bigger than it's mine it's just weird to think of like a tough Italian mobster being like smash that like and subscribe button yeah, that's what he's like that's <laughs> what <laughs> he's like and he, he even puts like he signs on with what's up gangsters gangsters with the A <laughs> He's like lost himself. <laughs> and there's, there's YouTube videos yeah. of guys who are like mob obsessed yeah. who bring up things that they've read and that they know and start beef with former Fuck. like mobsters. So there's a YouTube video where Sammy Gravano and some other guy from the Gotti like clan uh -huh. are fully arguing with each other on YouTube, like oh, on Zoom. <laughs> God. They're like blowing on Zoom openly. <laughs> it really, really <laughs> spoiled the that. mafia for me. It was like, oh, <laughs> it's not we thought cool. it was ruined in the 90s. No. This is ruined. Yeah. Well, it's sad that Chopper died too soon. He could have really capitalized well, he, on the Chopper. He, he, loved he lives shit. on in Heath Franklin's yeah. homage. Yes. Um, I should say this is the Phone Hacks podcast, and, uh, you know, like we should do some phone hacky stuff you yeah, guys can look some, at my phone some preamble but i know that um you guys have both done uh episodes in the past i believe one of the best reactions we've ever had from a guest was mccann posting some instagram thirst trap into his stories <laughs> and the caption was what mama mia or something <laughs> like uh yeah, it was something it was a wooga uh, <laughs> <it, laughs> holy moly I, mean, I think we went to the story it was just i think i just had to share a bikini girl yeah with her mams out. This was when you were trying to fix your algorithm to stop showing you. I've found that I've had to ask it to shop. So, uh, man, <laughs> I don't know if I said this before, but yeah. I, I just spent months asking it not to show me hotties. Yeah. And it started showing me Muslim propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other end of the spectrum. It's like, hold on. <laughs> There's something. Yeah. He wants them to cover up. But how yeah. do you ask it not to show you? You just like scroll Quickly you go passed. Top, top right. No, you go top right and you have to say, do not show me this. I am not interested. Oh. And boy, I had to do that. I started getting the breastfeeding uh, instruction where a woman will have like a pretend baby. Oh, uh -huh. they were trying to get, and, get uh, it around out. your defenses. They were like, we need to keep him on the titties. Yeah. We've got to find a way around <laughs> I mean, it. They're so great, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Very nice. But everything in its right place. That's what I say. Yeah. But that was honestly one of Because once you put it in stories, the, the, the visceral... 
pain. I was very uncomfortable. <laughs> were, it was amazing. I didn't want to lead other people into temptation. <laughs> I yeah. thought that would be wrong. And it's then what did Capper have you do, Pinder? I can't remember what he did. Was it a tattoo did. thing or was it? Yes, it was yeah. a tattoo thing. What was that? Fuck, it, I can't remember what yeah, it was. Yeah, I, I have no idea. It was you, him, and David it, Hughes. Yeah, it was some kind David of Hughes. tattoo okay. thing that was... Oh, I know David Hughes. It, mm. it, came, it came out fairly tame, mm. I think, because I've done much dumber tattoos yeah, than dude. whatever it was. We, it look, was like a bad tattoo, and I've done worse tattoos. Yeah. You know? Yeah, of course. But it wasn't something that was going to get you in trouble, or anything. it wasn't like a swastika or no. something like that. No. Yeah. I mean, which is a cool tat. Really, you betray once again your <laughs> true <laughs> allegiance. Well, no, because isn't the swastika it's Capo and Kappa <laughs> on this podcast? Isn't there? <laughs> isn't there the Hindu swastika, which is much the more om, the Oms? The Oms, yeah. yeah. So, so there you go. The om and the swastika are different, aren't they? I believe well, they're, uh, one, they're both they're going Hindu in different directions. But they, yeah. yeah, to the naked eye, to uh -huh. the untrained. The Oms, the one that looks like a three, with a scoopy no, and a dot. I think it's exactly it's, the same. Sim maybe it's is not it? on. Maybe it's a different. I don't know. But people used to have swastikas all the time. Uh -huh. The twenties basketball yeah. teams. There's a yeah. lot of them in Nazi. Uh, yeah. yeah, a lot of them in Bali and that. And what if someone comes in and is like, "Give me a swastika for? Well, I'll give you ten, now? ten grand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'll do, do it now. No, I reckon early two thousands when over? they were still knocking about. I've covered up a lot of swastikas. Have you? Yeah. Shit. I've covered some buttes. What do you turn them into? Windmills? <laughs> I think Spiders? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, black squares. Typically. Yeah. But I have, I've, I've got a picture on my phone somewhere and it was a, it was like three of them and I think I did I think I did like flames, you know, like hot rod type flames nice. yeah. type things and then the gaps between the flames I hid. The and the flames are burning shit. Jews? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's right. dreadful. I would never <laughs> joke about a thing like that. <laughs> of course, dude. Yeah. Um, so, but thanks for being back on. We don't really do hacks anymore. We've softened up. We're, yeah. you know, we're in our forties. We this can't hurting the listenership. People it, clue on it. Anyway. Holding it you back. It hasn't helped. Oh. <laughs> mm. But you know, like I don't know. Once you hit forty and you're sending Shrek's dick to your friend's auntie, like yeah. you're like, what am I doing here? Yeah. You know, we got to change. <laughs> it's time for you to finally do the. <laughs> History of Ancient Rome podcast. You've been <laughs> scrapping it, doing. I know. Says the man. You've got a listenership. Yeah. Now, now it's time we flip it on them. Yeah. All right, kids, it's time to learn. Yeah. But also, says the guy who's seriously considering the diary of Anne Frank for his show next year. So, you know, the more things change. <laughs> the diarrhea of Anne Frank. The diarrhea of Anne That's Frank. That's what I said. Yeah. Yes, it sounds like what you said. <laughs> You're really. Now, you could get a better show title. Oh, Have you ever yeah. done a play on G? Mike G spot. Oh, nice. You've already nah. done that one? No. G is in gangster as well. There might be something Mike in that. Mike G unit. Yeah. yeah, Mike G unit. Mm -hmm. G unit, yeah. What else? What do you think? Mike G. Mike, Mike and Gina Meep G's. <laughs> Meep G's. <laughs> Mike, Mike G's. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Gina Reinhardt? Mike G. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the image. It's that painting, you know, but it's just my yes, face. Yes, but it's you. Yeah. You get Kappa's poster guy to do that. Oh, yeah, dude. Is Kappa Kappa's poster guy? No. His posters are incredible. Yeah, if he yeah, is, that's infuriating. I'll give him a plug. He's, he goes by Chillery. His name is Chris Hillary. Find right. him in Melbourne. He's very, very good. He's very good. He's He did my uh, King of Comedy poster, the uh, Wedding Singer one. Did he by chance do uh, Paul uh, Andrew... What's his fucking name? Port's... Portman? Port, Port Arthur Massacre. Port Arthur. Did he do the Port Arthur Massacre? Yeah, yeah, he did the Port I Arthur Massacre. He he I thought, I know this word. Yeah, and that's why we use him. We're like, this guy is good. <laughs> this guy's an innovator. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, what's his name? He's a Perth guy. He doesn't live here now. Andrew Port... Portelli. 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 Yeah, I wanted to say Portillo, but it's not posters. that. Yeah, and yeah, he's yeah. got some great posts. One where he's coming out of the sea. Yes. And that was him. one where he's nipples. got big nipples. Is that the same guy? Same guy. Yeah, it's super he's recognizable stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, if something could be done for Andrew Portelli's career. He's so funny. He's mm -hmm. great. I'd like to support him somehow. He is there doing very well, isn't he? Is he? Yeah. I thought he was doing very well. Um, I envy him. He must be. No, he is doing good. We've had him on the pod a few times, so that yeah. was probably... Last time I interviewed him, he came with me to a laundromat. Yeah. Mm. And uh, then, I mean, he was doing the Fringe. No one does well at the Adelaide Fringe. No. But I believe he was uh, struggling. But he's so funny. Yeah. Mm. You know? Oh. I really believe that he could yeah. be a big superstar mm. comedy celebrity man. Yeah. Yeah. If he starts doing more wog gear, <laughs> that's the real secret. That's a spicy meatball type thing? Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. 
That's the spicy he sh- meatball. He shares, he shares memes ironically very well, doesn't he? Yeah, I but I think some that. people don't know it's ironic. That's what the beauty of it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those. It's for us. Oh, I know what you're doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but he's been on the pod plenty of times. But yeah, go check out Portelli. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Perth, I've on, I've been back for a week. We're in the comedy lounge, if anyone's watching the, um, the uh, video of this. So come to the comedy lounge. Mm. I told them I'd give them a plug. Mm. Yeah. So I did a gig on Tuesday night. Not in this room. Uh, one in Northbridge. And this hasn't happened in a while. The an audience member threatened to bash me to death oh, while wow. I while I was Wonderful. on stage. It's for Mike Gay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude. Perth still got it. Oh, still got it. Because he uh, took a phone call when the MC was on, yeah. and the MC called him out. And then the guy goes, "Oh, this is the person I'm talking to is funnier than you." Said wow. he said that to the MC. Oh, that's quite took the fun. call, came back during my set, wouldn't shut up. And then I, I said, you know, you're heckling during an open mic. You're a piece of shit. And he said, I'll fucking bash you. Oh. To death, dude. Yeah. You and went, the, and fair call. Yeah. <laughs> and it's thick British accent, which oh, really? somehow makes yeah, it worse. it does make it worse. Oh, yeah. that is worse. Yeah. That makes me ashamed. Yeah. And then I kind of suggested that retarded people shouldn't do cocaine. He didn't mm. take kindly to that. Sure. It was tense in the room. See, I pride us on having, like, keeping a sense of humor about stuff. Right. That's what, like... If nothing Sometimes. else, nah, if when nothing a else, keep off, your sense of you humor. Fall off it's hard. sad to watch. Yeah, you know? yeah. You're all prim and proper ladies oh, until you're grim. wearing a thong in Essex yeah. in the snow, upside <laughs> yeah. down. Yeah, <laughs> I hate to see. Yeah, I hate to see a pom take himself. Well, seriously. and here's the thing: he was friends with an act that was on later in the show, and they were ah. sitting together in the front. Oh, really? So there was just so many things was going the other on. Other act good? When he I got didn't up? stick around, man. Oh. I was on first, <laughs> and I got the fuck out of there, dude. Yeah. I once had to flee a gig in uh, Perth out of a window. What? Yes. <laughs> End of Fargo style. There were too many thick, juicy tits in the audience <laughs> yeah, to make was, my way through. They loved me too much. No, I had to, uh, someone was uh, was also threatening to uh, uh, practitioner violence against up. me. Uh-huh. And uh, Eloise Eftos had yep. just started comedy. Mm. And she, uh, she came up on the stage and opened a window on the stage and helped me get out. It was very on kind. On the stage. I've really <laughs> never forgotten that she did that. Yeah, it was a strange, like, a club. It was like a bar that was on the ground floor. Wait, wait, could the audience see the window? Yeah. <laughs> Where was this gig? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> did it go on Instagram, that? Uh, no, I don't think... There's no video. Anyone can prove that that happened. Right. Which I is feel like I remember seeing on Instagram somebody getting onto the stage via a window. Mm. In a room that was not practical. I locked practical for uh, Kieran Lyons onto stage. Like, there's a door directly <laughs> on this <laughs> yes. stage. Do you know this? Have you seen this video? <laughs> yeah. You know, you've done the club you're doing tonight, Oasis. Yes. The door opens That's very funny. directly onto stage. And he was on last. <laughs> and I just stood on the other side of the door and <laughs> held it shut. And he kind of was bombing, which makes it worse. Yeah. And he's trying to get off. And, like, he can't get through the door. And he's trying so hard. And there's video of it. It's one of the meanest things I've ever done. <laughs> Well, it's a metaphor for show business, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you can't trying escape. to get through the next door. Yeah, and you yeah, can't. yeah. You can't. <laughs> it's like you should be allowed to, but they won't let you. You stay, and then he stay had to, here and bomb. He yeah, had yeah. to do the walk of shame through the audience. Did he do it? Is that what he did? <laughs> what what would you have done in that situation? Am I? I'd have, is that I'd have a, held out, I think. Is that me? Mike G would never do that to me because I think he respects me. Well, I, but uh, Kieran, it to me. I knew Kieran since he was 15. He started comedy so early in Perth. And there was a big brother, little brother vibe. I, I mean, he looks a lot like you. Does he? Oh, yes. We're big crypto guys, both of us. <laughs> he, yeah, he's Do you really, have a lot of crypto? No, I don't. But apparently he's, he's like a... Yeah, you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. The Crypt Keeper. He's apparently a crypto millionaire. Wow. Is he really? I don't know about millionaire. Let's I say him up thousandaire. Yeah, right. yeah. And he's like, Why you see him in Dubai, else? like leaning up against a Lamborghini. So he's doing fine. Yeah. Do you really? Is he doing all that? Yeah. Uh, Kieran Lyons. Is that right? That's wild. Josh, do you know Kieran Lyons? Okay. Well, we'll confirm later. But uh, yeah, I'll share the video of me yeah, locking him on stage. Kieran, I have an idea for a movie, and if you'd like to invest, I think that could be really <laughs> exciting for you. But shame there's no video of you escaping through a window. I'm happy about it. It was not my greatest moment ever. Were people laughing? No, the <laughs> mood had seriously turned. Really? Oh, wait. So you, it was not a there was no humor gig. left in that no moment you were like no this was very drunk very loud were they trying to get you 
Uh, it was unclear. There was it was a lot of threats and commotion. They were sufficiently drunk that you couldn't really understand what they were. Really? Were you doing your uh, <laughs> hmm? what bits had set them off? It's not important. But there <laughs> were other factors. I think it's important. <laughs> there were several confluent factors that yeah. make it uncomfortable. Where yes. was this was in Adelaide? This was in Perth. Oh. Here in beautiful Perth. But Perth. I'll put it this way: around Australia Day, Perth always gets a little charged. Mm. Yeah, it's there. It gets they charged love it. over all sorts. I remember the yeah. last time, one of the times when you were here, was the time when that little girl had gone missing. Uh huh. Mm. And you'd said something. Did a, I do a, a quip? Yeah, yeah. That was funny, and somebody went. Somebody gave it the no, oh, like the groan. Like oh, we don't talk about. And you flipped it on him and went, you care so much, why are you not out looking for her? <laughs> um, I'm what are you sitting it? down here I for? I remember that Get at all, that was good. You should that be out good. looking I'm for very, her. It was I'm very good. with that. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Thank you. Eh, nice I might work. try that one again. You Is it missing, girl? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there can be. That sounds bad. <laughs> <laughs> there can be. There can be. There can be. So, I don't know. We can go through the phones to keep the... Con- oh, if any first-time listeners are in, the, the concept is we all swap phones. Spinning wheel decides whether we go through notes, camera roll, search history. It used to be draft tweets, but who's tweeting anymore? I'm not tweeting. Nothing. Yeah. I don't know. Instead of draft tweets, we pivoted to Instagram, the, the, the search page. But oh, people tri- are very uncomfortable. No, I be- mine's looking good now. Is it? I've really cleaned it up. <laughs> Have you? Gosh, it? it was foul. It was a red light district for a while there. That's <laughs> fine. Uh, sea of Tits, We've usually. cleaned it right up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Sea of Tits isn't a bad title for a sea of, solo show. Sea of Tits. Sea of Tits. <laughs> I'd have to work on my man bosom situation before anyone... <laughs> if I gave you enough me. money, would you get fake tits? No. Okay. No. I, I mean, enough money. What size would you go? I'd have a reduction and go for bees. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Yeah. So my search I, thing is a lot of. Oh, you're looking at the explore page. I just, yeah, it never occurred to me what it's. It's a lot of boxing stuff. Is it some Oasis stuff? That's pretty cringe. Yeah. Um. What is it? Just Liam saying. I'll get my weird telephone. Shit. It's, it's shite. It's not juicy. Have a yeah. Look at that garbage. All right. So already looking at Pinder's explore page. I mean, it the algorithm does. There's not a hell of a lot of exciting in there. No, who a you lot are, of like though. quotey type things. Oh, dude. I'm an absolute sucker for a quote. There's some, yeah, Albert Einstein, Mahavira yeah. Do you know stuff? what I don't, you know what I'm not fond of? That uh, there's, because I like quotes. Yeah. Like I'm a sort of quote fiend. I am getting a lot of manosphere stuff. Yeah. You know, like about alphas and uh, betas and sigmas is a thing now as well. I don't know what a sigma is. A sigma is. They've added. Yeah. It's on a grind set. Yeah. Well, I think there's good shit in your algorithm, dude. There's the Sigma like grind set. I don't know what that is. The algorithm's good for you. They they're throwing shit at you like a shirt that says, "I love my wife, my country, and getting pegged." If you don't like it, kiss me about it. I mean, that's a good we, shirt. Can you order that one? <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, that's a great shirt, really. And then there's one that's like a flashlight. That's the Wilson ball from um, <laughs> Castaway. The Wilson I volleyball. Never have noticed that. Look at that, <laughs> James. Look at this. This is vile. It's the Wilson. Gross. Yeah, volleyball f- flashlight. Which <laughs> is it? Yeah, necessary to put Wilson in a flashlight because the it, the presumption is that Tom Hanks was banging Wilson on that. You'd island. have to have at some point banged Wilson. Right? You'd I'm have, sure they have, have to have a long have. history together. <laughs> You'd have to have. Um, and then yeah, the obviously the Oasis stuff. Um, I mean, you got tennis stuff in here. I don't know why there's tennis stuff. It's like a comparison of uh, Rafael Nadal, young and old. Yeah, because he's very bald. There's a lot of there's a lot. I follow a lot of boxing stuff. Yeah, I don't know whether they're going. Oh, the guy likes sports. Right. But that's I don't know. I don't know anything about tennis. I don't like tennis. This is right up Capper's alley. If he was here, he would go nuts for this. It's a um. Uh, it's a titmouse. It's a, what's the what's that bird called? The it's a stork. It's another stork. Sort. It's a stork. I think it's a stork with big, heavy naturals. Big, heavy naturals. <laughs> and uh, it's saying, "God has blessed me." <laughs> I like it. Yeah. 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 Should we get Pinder to share? That? Does that count? Are you allowed to? <laughs> <laughs> I think you can do that. You can do that. Are you, you allowed to? Um, 
Is I that mean, a right to be in your algorithm? Because they're cartoon. They're not technically. Uh, I mean, I thought it was alluring. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely throwing me off it's my... Big off. tits on a bird. On a bird? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bird. What, you what doing got big tits? Are you <laughs> sharing it? No, I didn't share it. Uh, you know, I wouldn't do that without your pr- you approval. You can do it. Share it if you want. Well, yeah. Let's see yours. Where's your algorithm? Oh, dude. it's it's. Uh, we've been through it before. Should oh. we we look at oh, it next? It's boring. But there's some incel type stuff. I have mine. I've refreshed it enough Is this on my thing? This is still your... Yeah, I keep al- getting these manosphere. I think it's because I'm like... You are the glitch the system is afraid of. You are the glitch. <laughs> oh, that's awful. <laughs> That's what the uh, the Trump shooter was wearing that shirt, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he is the glitch that I'm afraid of. Fuck, dude. He's a scary Don't face. Don't be him. afraid of Ooh. him anymore. He's been, no, but just doesn't have his face. That very anyone scary can look now. like that skeletal, oh, yeah. greasy, like a wet skeleton, wasn't he? Yeah. The signs were there that that wasn't a well-adjusted yeah. person. Perhaps no. some conditioner in that I think air, we should mate. Take everyone you know? who looks like that and put them away somewhere. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. The then it's it's pretty clean, dude. It's in terms of that, there's no, you're not horny scrolling at all. Nah, I never horny. Apparently, scrolling. it's a lot of music stuff, tattoo stuff, drawings. I mean, I think this Vanilla. is probably no, the most interesting algorithm in terms of it's not basic. Uh, I follow so more. St- I follow uh, more dishwashing. stuff than I want to follow. Yeah, I've got a. Like if I see one good post that I like, I'll just follow the page oh, that's immediately. Funny. Yeah, you can. What's that one? It's SpongeBob <laughs> and what's his partner's name? Patrick. Patrick. Yes. And it says Spunk Club and Fabric preparing for back shots, and they're bent over waiting for what's back shots. Is it something to do with tennis? Nah, that, no. <laughs> no. Mike's going to have a lot of tennis on his. I would believe. Well, do you want to? See, okay, so I'd you want to go through I'd mine? Love to see yours. All right, I'll let McCann go through my uh, explore well, you can, page. You can also, I mean, we can keep it vibrant for the people. There you go. Is I've brought mine up. All that. right. It's. A, I'm ashamed that it's a lot of uh, anime. Yeah. I've been watching you a lot anime. Of anime on there. Well, I'm back on the Naruto. And uh, it's that, and it's a lot of Sabrina Carpenter. Isn't she lovely? Man, I don't know what you could do with this. Like I said, it's it's you can look, but it's it's straight up tennis and tits. <laughs> so oh, my tennis goodness. T-T. Yeah. That is, <laughs> I look away immediately. I've seen all that I need to see. Yeah? I mean, I could spin the wheel. It's a lot like what mine used to look like before I fixed it. What was your tennis, though? Hmm? What was your tennis? Oh, chess. Chess. A lot of chess. Yeah. A lot of symphony orchestra. The duality of man, chess yeah. and tits, dude. Do you know it's the I'm mind and the dick? <laughs> I'm getting a lot of um, lady memes. Oh, Soph sends me these things. You know those? Uh, which one of these badges is your girlfriend? Right. And then it shows you a load of different badges, and uh-huh. then I have to send back which one most reminds me of her. Right. And I think now that that's in my algorithm, I'm getting like there's a monkey here with an handbag. Yeah. That says me on nice. vacation in all my new clothes. And I'm waiting for my man to tell me how cute I am. I get heaps of that <laughs> stuff. I got to say, when you said monkey with a handbag, I was expecting something a little more uh, jarring. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no, it's really, it's all like cute coupley kind of. But it's nice. It's targeting me as if I'm someone's wife. Should we? Oh, have I noticed you got the American flag on the phone? Have you gone? Are you? It's to tape up the back. Oh. It's the cheapest tape at Walmart. I was wondering, have you gone full? Pride in America now? Do you find you're nationalistic Boy, about the there's country? A lot of pride in America, <laughs> yeah, dude. It's going perfect. I mean, the rainbow flag is everywhere. <laughs> you're there just in time for the Civil War. I don't. I think they're not going to have one. I think they're chilled. This was before the assassination. Maybe it's a little more. Uh, yeah. Do you think the internet gives you a attempt? false? Because t- from here, I it looks like were, it's imploding. I thought they were right on the precipice of full blown race war. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I, I'm now worried that I'll never get to see looting. I well, really you thought I'd get to see looting. At be, you be the, just go to San Francisco. Be the loot There's you wish to see in yeah. the world. It's not the same. Dude, book gigs at Cobb's Comedy Club. Hang out in the Tenderloin District. You'll, the you, Tenderloin yeah. District? You'll see plenty. Is that like their boys town? Yeah, it's boys town. I see. <laughs> Tenderloin. Boys town. It's very strange in Los Angeles. There's the gay neighborhood. Gay and neighborhood. right next to it is the uh, very conservative Russian neighborhood. Uh-huh. And they sort of vie for real estate. I've noticed yeah, a lot right. of the American uh, ghettos, if I can use that word, rub mm. up against each other. I went to Crown Heights. Uh-huh. Fascinating. It's the Orthodox Jews. In New York. In New York. Yeah. And the, uh, the the black people. Uh-huh. A lot of wig shops. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> it's a very strange area. <laughs> what a great sentence to sum that up. A lot of wig shops. A lot of wig shops. That's, the, that's where they overlap. 
You know, yeah. the love of wigs. Yeah, the wig love. I, uh, yeah. I, wrote a, I went down in the Jewish tunnels. Oh, yeah. I call them the subway. And uh, You call them Jew tunnels? No, I was just having a laugh. <laughs> oh, that's fine. They think they have a Messiah. Do they? Yes, the Orthodox Jews of Brooklyn uh-huh. believe that they had a Messiah, an old guy who died a few years ago, but some people think he's just sleeping. Some people think he's hiding. Right. And that's why they were digging the that's tunnels. The second, last that year. is the second coming, they, they reckon. Yeah. I mean, if you... If you want a religion where you're Jewish and you think the Messiah was here and died and came back from the dead, we've yeah. done that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we did a good job yeah. of that one. They're doing like a cover band thing. Of yes, it. this is the uh, <laughs> the Smythes, <laughs> not the Smiths. <laughs> what was he? What was he about? What yeah, was why he? was he so special when he was? Living? I think he had wicked charisma. Uh, yeah, and, not uh, a Jew then. <laughs> yeah, well, no, many ca- Adam Sandler. Uh-huh. Uh huh. It was Adam Sandler. Mike G. Yes. <laughs> sure. Yeah. But are you Jewish through the mother's side? No, I'm not proper Jewish. Of course. No. Of course. You and... Uh, there are a couple of little crypto goys running around the Australian comedy scene <laughs> that the full-blooded Jews do not uh, look too kindly upon. I've heard more. You know? Do you know about this? No. All the Jews, they gather <laughs> in... Uh, not in their dungeons, yeah. just in, you know, in St. Kilda comedy clubs. Uh-huh. And they go, that guy's not a real Jew. Oh, really? Oh, oh is yes. that a thing? They, they gather. What, this is among Faux comedy. Jews. <laughs> this, is among, comedy. this is like what I was saying about, uh, he's not a real comedian. He's not a proper comedian. True. He's, it's back yeah, to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's I that same thing. My father was Jewish. That's not. I dated that. a Jewish girl, and when her parents found out my mom wasn't Jewish, they were not happy. Oh. Yeah. I'm a fraud. Sad. Yeah. I'm in favor of misogyny. Are you? Sometimes. <laughs> misogyny. Is that mixing it? Mixing, mixing it, it up. up. Yeah. yeah. It's close to misogyny. I think you should mix it up. Yeah. Surely the the more I agree. what's the opposite. Well, my wife keeps having cesarean sections because my head's so light. Yes. So I'd like my children to mate with people with, with smaller, smaller heads, heads, you know. What race has typically got a little head? There's a couple. But I think we could go out and do something about that. Or maybe just the boys, they could get together with broad-hipped women. Oh, yeah. Yes. Sort of yeah. The, um, Broader hips and smaller heads. That's what yeah. I'm talking about. It's the future of the McCann yeah. dynasty. The, the, bottom, bowling the bottom heavy McCann. <laughs> yes. Um, well, Badass McCann. I mean, if you want, I can spin the wheel. I didn't see your algorithm, you by the way. To. Well, you can. It's very dull. Is there I nothing just, in it? I was it? so bored by it. Well, you can look at my notes. Look at this. Oh, maps of America. Yeah. Uh, when each state... Reached its highest point as a percentage of population. I mean, that's fascinating. Stuff. Yeah, so you are fully ensconced in the uh, Kamala Harris videos. More America tires. You love Kamala. I have no feelings about. I'd love to have a. Kamala <laughs> I like the feeling. idea that you've got a bunch saved. <laughs> Anything Kamala he can find. Well, I tried doing a, a joke about it on stage, and people were just silent. I in America, in Australia, no one cares about Kamala. No, no. Yeah, she's. I, I liked her for a second. Uh-huh. Uh, yesterday morning, I woke <laughs> up and I just found myself briefly going, hey, come on, yeah, she's all right. I remember when Julia Gillard was Prime Minister, there was one afternoon where yeah. I thought, ooh, yeah. right. hold on. Yeah. It passed. Yeah. But uh, anyway, I've had that for Kamala now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who's, your, who's your person? Oh. I mean, I suppose you've got no dog in the fight, really. Or are you Trump guy? I mean, what a beautiful country. Yeah, he doesn't want to... D- well, you don't I don't wanna... know which way it's going to turn out, so I don't want to. Commit. Yeah, yeah, no, of course, yeah, fair <laughs> but enough. I will That's say, a stupid question, really. I mean, the when Artists he rose, are not supposed to have a when view he anyway, rose, they? covered in blood oh, from the yeah. huddle, majestic. Who among us was not <laughs> deeply yeah. moved? Yeah. It depends on the on the photograph of the the still. Yeah, because there's one yeah. where he looks quite really something. Yes, and then there's another one where he's got that sort of. Uh, th- yeah, that one. That sort of the pig hamster face thing. pig face yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they all negated by the fact that his shoes somehow flew off I in the process? Did his like, shoe fall off? Yeah, he, the first thing he was saying at the bottom of that huddle was, get my shoes, I'm I need my shoes. My <laughs> shoes. <laughs> yeah. If he was shot to death and his shoes and he, weren't and on. And he popped up and said, fight, fight, fight. Did yeah. He? Like a sco- is that like yeah. a schoolyard thing? Like, now it's a fight? It's yeah. very cool. What would you have said when you popped up? What would the first like inspiring word? I'd have gone, fuck here now. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta see that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have I got some on me? <laughs> I watched his, some of the RNC speech that he gave, and for the first like eight minutes, it's silent. Yeah, it's and he just recounts what happens, and everyone. Yeah, is, I saw very that. Silent. And then he goes, he shot my ear. There was so much blood. 
The ear, that's where all the blood is. <laughs> I went to a doctor. He said, there's so much blood in the ear. Yeah. So we learned something new every day. And a huge wave of laughter. Just he was just being Trump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. there was a lot yeah, of blood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Huge. Yeah. Huge. The most blood. The, the most, most blood ever. The best blood. <laughs> the best blood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, someone pointed out that he did. He has his right ear pierced now, which is gay. Yeah, the gay side. The gay that's oh, they're both that's a funny gay. Call. Are they what both gay? Funny yeah. Call. It doesn't Does matter which ear. ear I, but I think people... I, people were never consistent when I was a kid about which the gay side was. The right ear is always the right gay, gay side, yeah. yeah. Really? I think it's yeah. because I always got the sense. I had my ear pierced when I was a little boy, a little gay boy. Your right and side? I, no, I wanted the right side because it, it's my dominant side and I yeah. felt like it could deal with the pain better. And I think that that is... Why it's gay. Why it's gay. It's like, don't put it in the, the one that you're prepared to have hurt. Put yeah. it in your weak ear. <laughs> If you're a real man, put it in your <laughs> submissive ear. Yeah. Well, that could be a top-bottom thing. I Maybe. they've got all sorts of little signs. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know how it works. But I ended up with both of them done eventually. Nice. When I was at the tattoo shop because I was getting piercings for free. How old were you? It was you? just, what, when I had ear piercings? The right oh, ear. the first one. Yeah. I never had the right one. I had the... Oh, right. That's what you At you're one saying. point, I had the two done. Yeah. Right? This was while I was at the tattoo shop and I had a shaved head at the time. Yeah. And I remember guys in pubs when I was a little boy, proper hard men. Like vicious men, yeah, with like a like a stick and poke thing on their face, you know, like proper yeah. old hooligans. And there was one guy who had two chunky like gold hoops in his ears, and I thought I'd look hard as fuck if I got that. I'm gonna get two like he fuck. used to have, like a proper mean bastard. And yeah. I got on. This was when I was married to my first wife. And she went, oh, fucking take them out immediately. <laughs> she goes, you look like right said Fred. That is <laughs> shocking. Oh, that is nice. she says, they became Brexiteers. Who did right said Fred? Mm. Oh, did they? Yes. They they went on Nigel Farage's uh, did they really? TV show. I didn't even oh, know they were still kicking. did a little dance with them. Did oh. they? That was a banger of a song, I'm, I'm Too I, Sexy. You don't maybe, hear that enough maybe, anymore. No. Might not have been, it might have been the I'm vaccine, too actually, sexy and not Brexit. For. I'm Too Brexy. I'm too Brexit. Yes. I'm, I'm trying to force too Brexy. I'm too Brexit for Europe. Any piercings? Any? Have you ever done? No. no I, but uh, were you cutting about with a dangle earring at one point? Was it? A clip I would on? have a clip on. Yeah, a clippy yeah, job. Yeah, a clip when on. I was really, I was trying to have fun with it during yeah. uh, Adelaide was open during COVID, so I got to record stand up. Yes. That was all I could think to do, and I would just go to an op shop and buy Outfits. fabulous new outfits. I got overalls yeah. in there. You silk were cutting scarves. about with a silk scarf for a bit. So I was sashaying around. With the I'm scarf. surprised you've never gone full Pierce. Uh, Guy Pierce. Guy Pierce. Nah, yeah, yeah. I. Gosh, he's a good actor. He's great. I no, I, I fray. I fear it. I'm no tattoos. Yeah. I sometimes I think oh, we'll get that nah, southern stay, cross over you here. Stay on right. show the respect. You'll be, you're going to be in movies. I had well, this Pierce. I Did left, you? Yeah, I was a little punk rock piece of shit skater rat. Did you get tats? Uh, no tats. Just this was Pierce. Oh man, you with an and eyebrow I had a, piercing now would be <laughs> sick. <laughs> <laughs> and I had an eyebrow a, would be good. A safety pin through it, and then the safety pin because that was punk rock. Yeah. yeah. Eventually graduated to like a penciled shard. And then that oh, fucking no. got infected. Yeah, ah, of course it did. To this day, it's Wrong. still like... Pencils are disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Dude. For a guy who fucking... Germaphone. ...sanitizes his hands <laughs> after every handshake. That's how you Putting a pencil, putting stationary. I know. Communal stationary through oh, your head. Oh, dude. I look back on it. It's chilling. Yeah, really. that's vile. <laughs> <laughs> um, how are we doing for time, Josh? Oh, wow. We did it. That's pretty good. Do you guys feel good? Do you feel like we made podcast history? I, just, I have to get all the way back to the hotel. I have to have a shower. I have just to get to the gig. Where is the hotel? Just down there. You're fine. A ten minute walk. I think Where's I can the hotel? Make I can't say that. No, 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 no. I mean, me. I mean, is it like? Oh, it's central. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, is but it be back there. It's. Uh, I've let these people who are booking this tour book too nice a hotel, and all I can think is I'm not here for very long, and and my goodness, I could use that money. I've got nothing. Well, we'll get the plug in again because oh, yes. you will be in Melbourne next week, and the show is on Thursday night. Oh, this doesn't come out. I'm at the QT. Yeah, you can say it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Do you think this was live to air? I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> no, it's I'm not all the over the shop. I'd like to, uh, yeah, well, the project, we'll see how it goes. I, if you can think of anything funny I could do on the project, they're pre-recording it. 
All I have is what if I stand up and walk around and keep saying, yeah. Pre-record's bad because you're not in front of a studio audience. Is there no one there? Well, you feel like you're bombing if it's, yeah. Mm. And I wore a little tiny top hat when I went on the project. Smart. And who's the anchor? Tom Tilly. He did not appreciate it. Yeah. Not and known uh, for his keen sense I of thought irony. it was fun, little yeah. t- tiny top hat, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> didn't really pop. I wonder if there's time <laughs> for me to get a costume. That's so how it goes. Would you do me. what I did? Would you do the right ear patch, or is that too divisive? You had to take it down? You I didn't had to take to it. To do it? Nah. I wouldn't mind doing a right ear patch. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good, dude. Yeah. Why don't you do and both? act like both. you're oblivious. There's no way if I'm on a pre record. It yeah. has to be, I have to. Ah, oh, they've sucked all the joy. Yeah, out of it. pre-records so frighten. Pre-recorded things. anything frightens me. Yeah, yeah I used yeah. to like sometimes if we'd have to do it when I was doing radio. Yeah, and they go, "We'll pre-record it." I was always dreading it because it feels like there's no. If something's live, that's where the magic is. Of course, once you've said it, you've said it. Once you've done it, you've done it. You know, I mean, you got to be in the studio with them. Otherwise, it feels stilted and yeah. uncomfortable. It's so what I'm going to be going. Just in tell there, them no. Sitting on the desk, and there's going to be an empty room for it. Yeah. And then they'll play that at the end of the show, and there'll be people laughing and having a good time up till then. Yeah. And then it'll be bone silent. I've done it. <laughs> yeah. Bone silent. Bone, bone silent. silent. <laughs> bone yeah. silent. We've heard of bone silent. We've heard of bone silent. What's bone the name of his show? Bone, bone silent. Bone silent's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> well, imagine bones making noise. They wouldn't, would they? They wouldn't. No, no, no. Um, so check out McCann's show in Melbourne, Bone Silent. It is uh, next Thursday. Uh, I do, I know. Uh, yes. Yeah. Thursday. Uh, Wednesday. I'm in Brisbane. Yeah. Thursday. I'm in Melbourne. A Friday and Saturday. We're in Sydney. Yeah. And then I leave this beautiful country. Back to the states. Again. You're back to America. Back to America. And dude, all your success so well deserved. My You're crushing it. I it's couldn't amazing. Have done it if you hadn't so kindly allowed me to get on that show that you were opening for Shane Gillis. Oh, dude, and we both fucked up backstage for different reasons. Now I forget. You let someone in. I let someone in who was very annoying to Shane and yeah. put everyone offside. And you ate all the sushi. I did eat all of the sushi. <laughs> and you that, ate all the as sushi. I've been opening for him in America. I'm proud to say I've continued. You eat all the sushi. Scoffing now. down the food <laughs> back. I think that's what he probably <laughs> loves about you. He's like, look at him. Yeah. He takes it the away from starving. me. <laughs> I all my clothes are tour t shirts now. Yeah. It's uh I just I've took Good. I got to take a shower at Radio City Music Hall because I was stinking. It's one. <laughs> it's a wonderful It's great. This is like a everyone else is doing brilliant so well. arc. <laughs> you know what's mad? Yeah. You're gonna get a catamaran at some point. Yeah. I think I it's it's possible. no longer impossible. Yeah. It's yeah. I think it's inevitable. Where would you keep it? Probably on the water. Uh, yeah, well, I reckon you'll water? have it about a week too. <laughs> I, I, well, I think you'll get there, and it plan. was, and it was all symbolic, even though you felt that it wasn't. I have to buy it. I have to buy. You'll it. buy it, and then immediately you'll sell it. That's an option. Yeah. Uh, Pinder, anything to plug at no, all? No, I've nothing to plug. I'm all, I'm all just round here doing normal club stuff. Get yeah. Pinder on the ground. Get com- on that Instagram. Oh, I am doing something uh, in me in the months to come. I'm doing a solo show up in. Wanneroo at Live Lounge, which is a new venue. Great. But anything like johnpinder.com. Yeah. There's gigs on there if you want to come to And we didn't do any hacks. Maybe we'll share that bird with tits to your stories. Do you want me to do it? Yeah. I'll share we'll it. We'll say something like, what? What's the caption to the bird with oh, tits? Oh, no. What happened me to it? Me likey. Me likey. Oh, I don't know where it's gone. That's all right. We'll now find that's one. that's a bird I can get into. <laughs> oh, I did look up Scientology, which was weird. Oh, yeah. That's in my search thing. Yes, all I right. do maybe I could. No, maybe no, no. I We're getting booted. You guys got shows to get right, to. Right. They okay. got a set up for the uh, show right. here Sorry. at the Comedy Lounge. Come down to the Comedy Thank Lounge so if you live in Perth. Thank Thanks for having us, and uh, we'll talk to you guys next week. Lovely. Bye.